Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel. Um, this is a question from the January 2020 International A Level P3 um, Edexcel paper. This is the first paper that was, you know, the first actual session that was released in 2020. Um, before this, there were no P3 papers, it was C3 and C34. And um, this was the very first one. Okay, so we've, um, we also had the specimen paper and sample assessment paper, which I've already been through. Um, but this was the actual session that was given to students. Now, a population of a rare species of toad is being studied. The number of toads n in the population t years after the start of the study is modeled by this equation um, given n equals 900 e to the power of 0 0.12 t over 2 times e to the power of 0 0.12 t plus 1 t is greater than 0 greater than or equal to 0 as we know because it's time it can't be negative and it's also an element of the real numbers according to this model calculate the number of toads in the population at the start of the study so we should know that at the start of the study you can say at the start that means when time equals 0 because t is defined as the number of years after the start of the study so t is the number of years after the start of the study. So at the start, t is 0. So we can now um, substitute that t equals 0 into our equation and find what n is. That's what they wanted us to do. So n equals 900 times e to the power of, well, anything that goes, if you put t equals 0 in here, it's going to be e to the power of 0 over 2 times e to the power of, again, 0 plus 1. So e to the power of 0, as we know, is equal to 1. So this is like 900 over 2 plus 1, which is 3, which is 300. So you can say there were 300 toads at the start, something like that. OK, you could leave it like this, but it's more complete to write the sentence. OK, now it says part B. It says, find the value of t when there are 420 toads in the population, giving your answer to two decimal places. So we have to substitute instead of n, 420. So we have 420 equals 900 e to the power of 0 0.12 t. So now we've got to find what t is when n is 420. Sorry. So we've got over 2 e to the power of 0 0.12 t plus 1. So we need to solve this equation for t. So let's just get rid of the fraction by multiplying both sides by 200 times, uh, sorry, by 2 e to the power of 0 0.12 plus 1. So I'm going to have 420 multiplied by 2 e to the power of 0 0.12 t plus 1 equals 900 e to the power of 0 0.12 t. Okay, so now um, to solve this, I think I'll make my life easier. If I divide both sides by... I think 60. If I divide both sides by 60, that will get rid of these big numbers. So 420 divided by 60, I think it's 7. You don't have to do this, but I just want to make my number smaller. I notice 900 divided by 60 is 15. Okay, now what I want to do is bring the t terms on one side. So I'm going to expand this side. I have 7 times 2, which is 14, so I have 14 e to the power of 0 0.12 t plus 7 times 1 is 7 is equal to 15 e to the power of 0 0.12 t. Now I can bring the e terms to one side, so I've got 15 to the power of 0 0.12 t minus 14 e to the same power, so I can subtract those two, it gives me 15 minus 14, which is 1, so that's e to the power of 0 0.12 t is equal to 7. And I can take the lin of both sides. If I take the lin of both sides, then I get release this from its power. So I have lin of 7 is equal to 0 0.12t. When I take lin of e, I'll use a power law, and then lin of e becomes 0. Yeah, so the lin of e to the power of 0 0.12t is going to be the same as 0 0.12t times lin e. And we know lin e is equal to 1, so we can end up with... 0.12t. So we want to find what t is, so I can divide both sides here by 0.12t. So it's lin 
7 over 0 0.12, not t, 0 0.12. Okay, we divided by 0 0.12 to get rid of that. And now we can find what t is. Okay, so we can stick this in a calculator. So we have lin 7. So lin 7 divided by 0 0.12. 0.12 okay and that gives us 16.2159 16.2159 that gives us 16.2159 so we can say that when n equals when n equals 420 Just need one of them here. When n equals 420, we say t is equal to 16 point to two decimal places, two to yes. So 16 is 16. The time is 16.22. So it says find the value of t when there are 420 toads in the population. Okay, so there's the answers for part B. Now for part C. It says, explain why, according to the model, or according to this model, um, the number of toads in the population can never reach 500. Okay, so what we can say here, there's, there's a couple of ways we can do it. We could say, as T gets very big, you're going to have 900 times something really big over 2 times something really big plus 1. So it's kind of like the same thing as saying 900 times something really big over 2 times something really big. Because if you just add 1 to something, 2 times something really big, it's just going to be almost the same thing. So basically, this is going to be approaching, okay, 450. It won't, quite, it won't get to 450. It's going to approach 450. So as T approaches infinity, you can say the number of toads approaches this. So the number of toads towards approaches 450 okay so that's why it can never reach 500 because the highest it can get to is 450 so as the upper limit you should say the upper should always explain for n is 450 therefore okay n can never be equal 500 something like this Okay, alternatively, another method you could use is you could say, let's try to solve the equation when we put 900 e to the power of 0.12t over 2 e to the power of 0.12t plus 1 equals 500. If you try to solve this equation, you end up with 900 e to the power of 0.12t equals 500 times 2 e to the power of 0.12t minus 1, and we can simplify this divide both sides by 100 and we're left with 9 e to the power of 0 0.12 t equals 5 times 2 which is 10 e to the power of 0 0.12 t minus 5. Now if you try to um, bring these together on one side oh, this is a plus 1 it's a silly mistake there if you try to bring these together on one side this is a plus 1 here right Okay, yeah. You'll end up with minus 5 on this side, and you'll end up with e to the power of 0 0.12t. Now, e to the power of 0 0.12t equals minus 5. It's, okay, there's no solution. Okay, there's no solution to this. Because um, if you try to solve this, remember, e to the power of something will always, it will never ever reach negative 5. It's never going to get there. Okay? If you try to, to solve it, you'll have 0.12t is equal to lin of negative 5. This is undefined. Okay? So no solution. Okay? You can therefore say that, you know, there's no solution. So n can never reach f 500. Can never be 500. Okay, so that's another way of doing it. You could do it two ways. Okay, one of them is just by looking at the fact that the upper limit is going to be 450. 
okay and the other way is by actually trying to solve the equation and seeing that it's going to be undefined so therefore you prove that it never reaches that number okay there's the end of question number one thank you for watching other questions from the same paper you'll find in the playlist that is going to be placed over here and you'll find other questions from this topic which i guess is exponentials um, and logarithms which will also be placed somewhere on this side and you'll be able to subscribe to my channel from the icon here and the card on top will take you to one of my um, other p3 papers thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon